level. What if behind this nightmare we are all witnessing? Hulk of the Avengers was battling against the villain who calls himself the Green Goblin when this wake of chaos began. <laughs> You okay? <clears throat> what I fear is that one day, Hulk's power will cause some great tragedy to befall our city, or perhaps even the world. I think Hulk and the rest of the Avengers need to be strictly monitored and under surveillance at all times. It is my personal opinion that the Hulk and the rest of the Avengers be placed under strict monitoring. The eyes have it, and the superhero regulation bill proposed by Norman Osborn is adopted. in Midtown East Side. On our way. Any available units? Armed suspect in City Park Tower. <sighs> Sounds like the cops could use some backup. Nothing your friendly neighborhood Spider-Man can't handle. I'm on it! Heroes, what a pathetic joke. They're nothing but mindless clowns living a life defined by meaningless acts they deem just. Cute. But yes, I agree with you. The world cannot run on pleasantries alone. The Emerald Rain Project. I have no interest in that. The petty squabbling of the Masters of Evil and Avengers does not concern me, so long as they do not interfere with my own personal plans. The elimination of all heroes. Soon I will be free of these fools, and I'll answer to no one except for you, as you and I are one and the same. Hulk's rampage in New York City was the driving force behind the enactment of the superhero regulation law. All superheroes have been placed under the control of the Council. At this very moment, state representatives are inside meeting with the Avengers. Hate to break it to you, gentlemen, but these things are useless without biometric identification. Once you've obtained the proper clearance, all of your suits will be available to you when you're needed, Mr. Stark. Like some glorified costume rental service? Please notify Captain America and Thor upon their return there to relinquish their weapons immediately to avoid any legal consequences. Have a nice day. Thanks would be nice. I'm sure that Cap and Thor are just going to be thrilled about this. <sighs> Mr. Osborne, as the most prominent supporter of the superhero regulation bill, what are your thoughts on the sudden surge in crime? There was another string of robberies last night. Some worry the superhero regulation law could be having negative consequences. I would call those unrelated. Oh, come on. You've got to be kidding. A citizen happened to capture this dramatic footage last night. Here we have a criminal on the run, and it's clear he would have gotten away if Spider-Man, a superhero, hadn't apprehended him. Oh, man. Huh? I was trying to keep a low profile. At least they got my good side. Your costume isn't very inconspicuous. Well, you make a good point there. Maybe I should consider wearing something in all black. It is slimming. Spider-Man is blatantly ignoring this new regulation, which would make him no different than a common criminal. We should all strongly condemn his unilateral action and illegal activities. <laughs> I take it he's not my biggest fan. Unreal. This guy seriously has a bone to pick with all superheroes. People wouldn't have even supported Osborne's crazy idea if the Green Goblin hadn't caused Hulk to go on a rampage. I just had an idea. Now stay with me on this one. What if Osborne and the Green Goblin are actually working together? No way. It's a bit of a stretch to think he'd sink that low. Councilman Reiner remains in staunch opposition to the superhero regulation law. Shackling our heroes is absurd. It only allows the evil in our cities to spread. I seek the bill's immediate repeal. This guy gets it, right? Dangerous move. Wait, what do you mean? Almost done! You think this will be enough? It looks perfect. 
Now that we have firewood, maybe you can go find us something to eat. What? We're in the middle of nowhere. We've got to be hundreds of miles away from the nearest town. You don't need to go into town. We're in the great outdoors. Look around and you'll find we're surrounded by food options. That's true. Hey. <laughs> How much longer are you two gonna stay? Till you agree to come back. I'm staying here. Then we're staying here too. Don't worry about me. Then don't you worry about us either, Hulk. <laughs> you two sound like little kids arguing. <sighs> Reminds me of what's waiting for us back home with the superhero regulation law issue. I just hope that it's not causing too many problems. Seven days ago, Councilman Smith was hospitalized after a mysterious car accident. Three days ago, Councilman Cloud was rushed to the ER after an explosion in his office. And yesterday, prominent businessman Michael Allen was seriously injured when his private jet crashed. All three men are known opponents of the superhero regulation law and appear to have been specifically targeted in this series of accidents. I'd like to set up a meeting with Mr. Osborne. I'm sorry, but he's currently out of the office dealing with an urgent matter. That's what I was told yesterday. When do you expect him to return? I'll be back here tomorrow. Let him know I was here. Spider-Man's doing the right thing! Ha! Huh, shows how much you know! Spider-Man's a vigilante that could end up destroying the city just like Hulk! Spider-Man's a hero! He'd never do that! According to the new bill, he's breaking the law. Yeah, and if you go around breaking the law, then obviously you're a criminal. Spidey's number one priority is protecting the city, not some stupid new law! <laughs> Spider-Man's nothing more than a show-off in tight pajamas. Uh, how dare you! Hey, uh, knock it off. Uh, how disappointed do you think Spider-Man would be to see you fighting about him? Spider-Man's no superhero. Spider-Man's a super zero. <laughs> I don't care what they say. Spidey's still our friendly neighborhood hero. That guy's got everyone trashing superheroes. This is really bad. All Makoto wants is to be a hero. This would break his heart. Being a hero isn't as glamorous as he thinks. You don't really gain much from it. Huh? There's just so much to lose when you're a superhero. And after a while, it gets hard to justify doing it anymore. Oh. Three officials that oppose this bill have been involved in suspicious accidents. It can't be a coincidence. Osborne, is he behind these attacks? Huh? Hello, Mr. Reiner! Woo! <laughs> uh -huh. You're still moving. I'm impressed. You're far more resilient than those other fools. For you! Nobody likes a litter bug. Let me show you how to take out the trash. Yeah. You know you're quite the pest, Spider-Man. <laughs> Councilman Reiner. Have a little fun with this. Yeah. A technical act. Stop that. Nice save, future Avengers. Now get moving. We're not safe out here. Can you walk? I'm a little shook up, but I'll be fine. Let's get them out of here. You know what I think our problem is? We haven't really taken the time to get to know one another. What do you say we grab a bite to eat? I know this great falafel place down in the village. Sure! Sounds delish! A simple no thanks would have sufficed. Nice try! Hey, that's my landing pose. Woohoo! Come to Papa! <laughs> I said go. Not until you're ready to come back. I gotta say, I'm relieved to see you're being so civil to each other. How about it, big guy? You ready? I'm not going back. All I do is mess things up. Avengers are better off without me. Well, that's just great. Where does that leave me, then? If having all that power makes you feel useless, then tell me, 
What hope is there for me? Am I just supposed to give up? Mm. Oh! This is a way more efficient way of getting around town. Hey, if this whole supervillain thing doesn't work out, maybe consider getting into the ride-sharing business. Not interested. The clientele seems to be rather clingy. Whoa! On second thought, maybe not such a good idea. I don't think you'd survive the rating system based on your unique piloting skills. One star, no tip! Here's where you get off! Huh? Thanks again for the lift! Make sure you get that shoulder checked out! How's Councilman Reiner? He's receiving medical attention. Good work, Audie. Everything's going according to plan. All right, Chloe, you're up. Okay, proceeding now. Activate Camouflage Act. Hmm, this'll do just fine. Spider-Man, hmm? I wanted to ask, what exactly were you talking about earlier? Uh, earlier? You'll have to be a little more specific. You said being a hero isn't glamorous. You said it gets hard to justify doing it because there's not much to gain. Oh yeah, about that. Look, making the decision to become a hero itself isn't all that hard. With a little bit of strength and courage and an honest sense of justice, just about anyone can become a hero. Anyone? You bet. What's truly difficult is remaining a hero. What do you mean? To remain vigilant and just, while not buckling under the temptation to show off one's power. To willingly trade a peaceful, quiet, boring life for a life full of unexpected and constant danger. Above all, a true hero must have an unshakable resolve to stay committed and humble. Otherwise, your power will corrupt you. There's a motto I've come to live by, with great power, comes great responsibility. Uh, feel free to jump in here anytime. Running out of teacherly things to say. Oh, right, uh, sorry, I, I, I didn't mean to. Relax, I'm kidding. Oh man, you should have seen your face. <laughs> it's important I speak to him. I'm sorry, sir, but Mr. Osborne is very busy at the moment and unfortunately isn't taking any new meetings. I can appreciate that. But he promised me an exclusive story. He's expecting me. I, um, sorry, give me one second, please. Hello, sir. There's a TV reporter here who's saying you requested his presence. I'm sorry, but he must be mistaken. I've made no such request. He's in the building. Thanks, Chloe. Right, let's get moving. Makoto. Yeah? Why us? You think there's a reason we were given the powers we have? I don't know. But they're a part of us. Always. And you think our powers can change the future? I do. They will. If we work together. Change it together? That sounds nice. Huh? Oh no! There's a fire! A fire? <laughs> you guys, look! The forest fire! Guys, the fire is spreading really fast! I'll use the Avenger! <laughs> no! Look out! Go on, run! This is really bad. If we don't do something, the whole forest is. Gotta put it out. But how? We will use our power. What do you mean? You're not making any sense. If we're gonna save this forest, you've gotta hit me with everything you've got. Hulk! That's too dangerous. Just trust me on this one. Hulk, I, I can't. You can, as a team. 
We can change the future. Now come on! Wait! Hold on! But a Hulk... I don't know if I can. Our powers combined. That's what you want, right? Right. Aerial Act. Here goes nothing. Type 11, tornado! Where's Hulk? The Hulk! Very impressive. What'd you expect, big guy? I mean, you're teamed up with a future Avenger. Uh, that was... exhausting. Where you been? Fire's out! <laughs> Figured with enough time, you'd see what a great team you make. That's him! I Mr. Osborne! Yeah, there he is! Mr. Osborne! We have some questions! Please forgive me. I hope you all understand that I've been extremely busy the past several days, which has prevented me from speaking with you. To thank you all for your patience, today I will answer any and all questions you may have. Mind if I go first? Hey, oh. Spider-Man! Spider-Man, we'd like to get your opinion. <sighs> have you come to confront Norman Osborn about the newly adopted superhero regulation bill? Have you finally come to turn yourself in, Spider-Man? Turn myself in? Good one. I'm here because something's been bugging me. Bugging you? Yeah. I've noticed quite a lot of surveillance cameras positioned around your building. Oh, hey, there's one. And there's one. There are so many. Seems like they're almost everywhere. I can personally spot over 50 of them at a quick glance. They are there for security purposes, certainly you understand. Security, huh? See, that's so odd. Because there's one part of the building where there isn't a single camera, isn't there? Really? And where would that be? Wouldn't you know, in the top floor, in Mr. Osborne's office. Figuring that must be some sort of mistake, we went up there to keep an eye out for you. And this is what we saw. Wow. Is that... the Green Goblin? <sighs> for someone that's so concerned with security, you sure keep some strange company, Mr. Osborne. Mr. Osborne, Mr. Osborne, what do you make of this? That is obviously doctored footage. Yeah, we thought you might say that. So as a precaution, we pointed all the surveillance cameras we could find at the top floor. Which means you'll find the exact same footage on your own personal surveillance equipment. For security, you understand. Why, you little rat. I'm just curious. What exactly is your relationship with the Green Goblin? Strictly professional or are you two best buds? Do you shoot hoops together on the weekends? Or sit at home binge-watching television? Ugh, I gotta know. Does he eat his pizza with a fork? Cause that tells me a lot about a person. <laughs> if you'll excuse me. Mr. Osborne, care to comment? Let go of me! 
Whoopsie! Uh, you'll pay for that, Spider-Man. Now that's odd. You have an injury on the very same shoulder Green Goblin hurt during my battle with him. Hmm. Coincidence or scoop of the century? No. Are you trying to say that Norman Osborn and the Green Goblin are the same person? Looks that way. Is Spider-Man telling the truth? Mr. Osborn, please give us an answer. You know what they say, Norman. There's no such thing as bad press. I just got some shocking news from Tony. He says Spider-Man uncovered that the Green Goblin is actually Norman Osborn. Wait, so the regulation guy is the Goblin? Norman Osborn was orchestrating everything. He wanted Hulk to go on a rampage. So he's responsible for making us look bad. See, Hulk? I'm gonna make sure this weasel pays for tricking the Avengers. Let's go back home. Now that's what I'm talking about. Let's show him as a team, we're unstoppable. Let's get going. All right. <laughs> This is huge! The Avengers have outed Norman Osborn as the man behind the Green Goblin mask. But the Green Goblin isn't going down without a fight. Using the Hulkbuster armor Tony developed against the Avengers? That's hardly fair. Here's hoping Hulk can deliver his ultimate smash on the next episode of Marvel's Future Avengers, Green Goblin versus the Hulk. Catch the future, Avengers.